Okay, so this is part 30, and um, I think I'm gonna pause the gameplay video. Deke a hasn't bit. seen this many plants here before. Uh, thanks for interrupting, Deke. Um, because I have loads of videos I need to put up, and I'm gonna see if I can try and stick to three videos a week. So this one will be replaced with. Another one for a little while because I have quite a lot in the wings and I need to put them up because they're kind of. Um, well, that's mainly because I haven't been. I've mainly been doing one like pin maker related video or, you know, thing and not. Um. <clears throat> Not um, a bundle of pin makers per video. But I do still have to put up the mystery box of pins videos because I bought that recently. I do want to put those up because the box is taking up space in my room. <laughs> so. be good to end on an uh, even number. I need to buy that. Mm. I guess I'll just... of this yet. Okay. I need to go to her. So yeah, so that's basically... <coughs> yeah. So, I don't know if this will be a bit longer than... normal or not. Depends. Because I only have a memory card that's maximum 4 gig, so I'll have to see. Let's get started. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How many do I need? How much do I need? Oh, I've, I've got enough. <laughs> so let's. Um, up, uh, there. So let's just. I don't know. You don't need that many mirrors right there. Watch that one. Oh, I need to be further away. Watch that one. I wonder why. Yeah. I can't. Not an actual page. Okay, well, there's that. So I might as well try that. <laughs> Again, those are books, not pages, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, 
just might just do another one. Mm, oh, I was kind of lost a bit. Might as well. Do you have the Moonstone? I do. I'm going to see if I can get rid of some of the portraits that I want. I don't even need to look at it. <laughs> Let's see, there's nothing over there. I put that up. Can't manage those things. Do you have the moonstone? You can acquire some by vanishing items here in the room, or mm -hmm. you can gather it outside the Hogwarts grounds. Yeah, you already said that. Anyway. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Let's all do some over here. I'm gonna get rid of this rug first. Hang on. Wait, that's not a rug, is it? That's just a floor. Can you put a rug over here? Okay. 
because what the dance does me.
It's huge. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to add another definition. Right. Um, I guess I could put one portrait over here. So I put one over there. there for a second. Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. 
The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. X, Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Change the color of them. Oh, I could change the central color. Nice. Oh, I can't change it yet. Uh oh, something to do in the future. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Nicely done. 
Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deek. Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deek this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, I see a corner and I have the natural already. I feel a special room and it's dark and it's dirt. Uh, first one. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Deep thinks you are doing good work here.
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Kind of a green tinge. Nice. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest. Surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. I mean, it does sound nice, but it's too dark. It is kind of raven colorish. I think it's because of the blue paint on it. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Eh. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Well, natural and earthy. Gives a green tinge, warm and cozy is kind of like more normal light. I like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. I mean, just with a slightly green tinge, I can actually see what I'm doing.
Okay, so I guess that's, uh, <clears throat> I guess that's it. Just a decorating video, really, I guess, to turn out to be. Probably speed up a lot of this. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching more. Please don't forget notifications. And it won't, might be a while until I do another end my depends. I might squeeze them in. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going out.